competitions going on. And we're actually here with an athlete who's competing. So this is Nelson. Um, what team, what gym are you with? So I train out of a gym called Los Angeles CrossFit in Layton, Utah. Woohoo! And have you floated before? Yeah, so actually I've floated a couple times. Um, I've been pretty, going pretty consistently since the beginning of this year. Um, I actually got some floats for my birthday and kind of, yeah, for my day. So <laughs> I tried it out. Uh, I like had no idea what to expect going into it. Um, and after like a couple float sessions, I ended up like getting my own floats and like doing it as a part of my training. So every Thursday is a recovery day for me. And usually that looks like I go to a massage therapist and get worked on like any aches and pains. And I just started incorporating this like towards the evening to kind of wind down my day. And then I completely cut off from a lot of like technology or just like activities. And it just kind of amplified that whole recovery and rest process for me leading into my next week. So. That's awesome. Yeah, floating is really good for muscle recovery. You're in an Epsom salt bath. So it helps break up lactic acid. And it's good for just mindset recovery as well. So have you noticed any changes in your um, like the fitness program or like how you're performing? Yeah, so as far as like peace of mind goes, like mindset's huge and CrossFit. Um, it's kind of something that just recently kind of took the forefront of like training and training regimens. Like so all the big dogs that go to the CrossFit games, mindset's like a pretty big piece of their like puzzle, right? So they consider their nutrition, they're working out, like how much they're sleeping, like everything. And then the next thing is like how mindful they can be. Um, like that could look like journaling or some people do use like the float tank and like, I don't know, there's a guy out of Canada who does it a lot pretty consistently. So um, for me, especially, I think just like quieting my mind is something that this has helped with. And like just even being able to like be in the tank and kind of turn my brain off and kind of let the thoughts come as they go. Like I told you, like my first couple times were like, really like like enhancing I don't know like it was weird like it took me like all this whole I don't know it was like sleep but not so yeah sometimes it feels like you fall asleep but definitely CrossFit is one of those sports where it's mind over matter like you have to be in the right mental headspace to compete at that level and just complete those workouts yeah like another thing I noticed so I track a lot of like my heart rate and just like my sleep and stuff and so normally I sit pretty high and have like pretty high cortisol levels so like stress components from like life work and just like fitness in general and then like doing this like I noticed like significant decreases in my heart rate which allows me to just kind of like notice that I am like recovering in a whole another like level so yeah you're really getting full relaxation really taking time to recover yeah and like taking pressure off your joints for like even an hour 90 minutes a day like yeah night and day difference for like training yeah they can fully relax do so you think floating is giving you an edge for CrossFit training? Yeah, I think if you're somebody like an athlete that struggles with like, whether you're in a competition setting or like training and like you kind of are always like constantly thinking about it and like stressing yourself out, this is one way like going into a competition that you can kind of wind down, like give yourself that headspace to be like, okay, like I trust my training, I'm recovered, I can crush this going into it. So. I think I would definitely recommend it. Like even like, I don't know, I used to play soccer, so if you're in any competitive area, like give it a shot, it's worth it. And you like, you'll see the differences like after a couple plays. That's awesome. Yeah, for any competitive athlete, like Steph Curry does it, the Patriots have low tanks at their training centers. It makes a huge difference, so.